Hey man, here's a video showing you how to put uh, the tritium vials in uh, drilled optics on your boss. Um, you are going to need the wrenches to get this boss head open. Um, you can also install the crenellated bezel um, doing this method. Uh, and unless you buy it with the lens in, you'll have to swap your lens out, which is an O-ring, a lens, and then another O-ring. You have to swap them over to the crenellated bezel or whichever other bezel you want to buy. Um, so uh, what you do is you take your wrench and there is a gap. You'll see where the, the actual body of the head and then the bezel starts, that gap right there. Put one wrench on the bottom, one wrench on the top, and these are tight. They're supposed to be, um, so you kind of have to, I put my finger in between here to wedge it open a little bit um, to get this around. There we go. All right, and then you want them uh, pretty much as close together as they can be just for alignment purposes. Then you grip them tight like this so they squeeze, and then you just unscrew to the left. And once you break it loose, take the top one off and leave the bottom one that's on the body, leave it on. And the reason I say that is just so everything stays where it's at because the board is pretty fragile. So once you get this broken loose, the head should just twist off, and the optic should not twist with it. So if it twists with it, you're in trouble. So... Just take this off, and once this, there we go. So, and be very careful with it. So, you will take this optic out, and there's it just sticks out just a hair. So, you want to be really careful with it, and just kind of pull this optic out and lift it up, and be very gentle with it, because you don't want anything to touch anything else in there, because those components are very fragile and will break. So this, of course, is, uh, that's thermal paste there on the bottom of the prongs. Um, you also want to be careful that when you're removing, because you don't want to get any of that thermal paste on the lenses or on the optics. Mine already has the tritium vials in the stems here. So I'm going to see if one will fall out. They, they actually kind of stay in there pretty good. All right, one did fall out. So what you will do is, I don't know if you can see that, but the hole right there in the stem there's a hole there, hole there. You will take your um, tritium vial and you will just drop it down in that hole. So you just take this, and I'm trying to do this looking through my phone. So you just take this and drop it down the hole. Just like that, that's it. Do it for all three. You see how this one recesses just a little bit? It's because these are um, the uh, five millimeter holes, um, or the five millimeter uh, vials. And these optics are drilled six millimeters deep. Um, doesn't hurt anything. It just allows for different uh, tritium vials to be used. Um, but once you get them all put in there, remember how we kept this face up like this. I have to look. I, I'm actually going to look at my uh, light instead of through the uh, phone lens here. You want to drop this straight down. Don't twist it or anything. You'll see the three holes that the posts align in. You want to make sure those hit that and not anything else. And this is the trickiest part, but it's still really easy. Just be very gentle. Just kind of place it down in there. Make sure it fits right where it's supposed to go. It should sit that low, about a millimeter above the threads here. Um, it shouldn't, like if you just barely gently move it, it shouldn't twist at all. It should be seated correctly. And once that's seated, take your bezel and gently start it. Screw it on just like anything else screws on. And once you get all the way down to the bottom, everything starts tightening up. You want to make sure your optics are not spinning with the head. If they don't, if they are, you have problems. So hand tighten it as much as you can. You can go pretty tight with it, hand tight, but you will hit a point where you do have to use the wrenches. Put the wrench back on. I have to pry my fingers in between to open it up enough so it'll fit and squeeze it and then tighten it. Now, these are made, I believe it's of Delrin. I'm, I'm not sure, uh, but they, they'll they slip on the on the bezel when it's tight enough. So, so it's actually slipping down here. So I'm, I'm not tightening it anymore. It's just slipping, but it'll only tighten so much. So after that, should be good to go. Um, <clears throat> make sure your
bezel is lined up correctly and I mean it should be it's just threads um, shouldn't be any sort of offset or play or anything but um, yeah just make sure you don't cross thread it uh, make sure the optic just drops straight down in there and don't twist it and turn it and uh, hit anything on the board um, make sure the uh, tritium vials are set in place all the way down in the drilled optic holes but the lens that's on the outside holds the tritium in place so of course it's not gonna come out because there's a lens but um yeah should be it and uh, let me know if you have any other questions